From Master Roshi's old school wisdom to Vegeta's harsh but effective mentorship, we're exploring how leadership spans generations in the Dragon Ball universe. Today's episode is all about three viewpoints on leading across generations, inspired by Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z isn't just about epic battles, it's also a masterclass in leadership and mentorship. Hey there, Zenyoku family, Michael Yuri here reporting the latest news in anime, hip hop, and personal development. As your friendly neighborhood, Air Force Master Sergeant, turn personal development expert and anime junkie. I am broadcasting from the wonderful Shreveport, Louisiana. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to dive deeper into the world where personal development meets anime. Last week, we talked about three ways to build influence through persuasion and empathy. If you missed it, you missed my pun on Mob Psycho 100, where I tried to persuade you that empathy isn't just a psycho thing. Don't worry, you can still catch up on my YouTube channel. So grab your Sinsum beans and let's power up with some leadership lessons. But only if I get to go Super Saiyan. We're going to cover this in three sections. Master Roshi's wisdom, Goku's leadership, and last but not least, Vegeta's mentorship. If you think Master Roshi had a PhD in leadership, you might just be right. He certainly got that old school part down pat. Let's break it down. Master Roshi teaches us that patience is a virtue. Remember how he made Goku and Krillin do mundane tasks like delivery milk and plowing fields? These tasks weren't just chores, they were lessons in discipline and patience. This old school method highlights the importance of foundational skills in any endeavor. It's like saying you can't run before you can walk. Even in our fast paced world, patience remains a timeless trait. Roshi's wisdom also included humility. Despite being a legendary martial art master, he never boasted about his strength. Instead, he focused on continuous learning and growth. Sometimes he was a perv too like Jiraiya Sensei, I'm just saying. His humility allowed him to adapt and evolve, which is crucial for any leader. In today's terms, he's the CEO who still attends workshops and read up on the latest trends. Just imagine him saying, boys, humility is the best way to keep your power level over 9,000. Master Roshi's role as a mentor is pivotal. He not only trained Goku and Krillin, but also imparted life lessons that extend beyond martial arts. A good mentor doesn't just teach skills, but also instills values. Roshi's mentorship style reminds us that leading with wisdom and care can profoundly impact the next generation. Think of him as the Yoda of the Dragon Ball universe, minus the green skin. So what did we discuss in Master Roshi's wisdom? Patience, foundational skills are crucial. Humility, continuous learning and growth. Mentorship, leading with wisdom and care. Moving from ancient wisdom to modern heroics, Goku's leadership style is as dynamic as the Kamehameha wave. Let's dive into the next section and see how Goku leads his team to victory. Goku's leadership is all about leading by example. He's never afraid to take on the tough challenges, always putting himself on the front lines. This fearless approach inspires his team to push their limits. It's like having a boss who dives headfirst into projects, motivating everyone to give their best. Goku shows us that true leaders lead from the front. Goku might be the strongest fighter, but he knows the value of teamwork. Whether it's forming alliances with former enemies or working with his friends, Goku's ability to unite others is a key leadership trait. Remember the Universal Survival Saga? Goku's strategy wasn't just about strength, it's about leveraging the strengths of his team. It is the perfect example how effective teamwork can achieve what seems impossible. Goku's quest for self-improvement is relentless. He's always training, always pushing to become better. This attitude is infectious and encourages those around him to strive for greatness. In the business context, it is akin to fostering a culture of continuous improvement within a team. Goku's drive to never settle is a hallmark of great leadership. In Goku's leadership, we talked about leading by example, inspired by action, embracing teamwork, leverage team strengths, continuous improvement, foster a culture of growth. 
as Goku's leadership style teaches us to never settle, let's transition to someone who brings a bit more intensity to the table. Vegeta's mentorship might come with a scowl, but his lessons are invaluable. If you think Goku's leadership is all sunshine and Kamehameha's, Vegeta's style will show you what real Saiyan pride looks like. Vegeta's mentorship is the epitome of tough love. He pushes his protégés to their limits, often through harsh training methods. While it might seem intense, it builds resilience and strength. Vegeta's approach shows us that sometimes a bit of tough love is necessary to unlock potential. He's the coach who's yelling from the sidelines, but also the first to celebrate your victories. Vegeta sets extremely high standards for himself and those he mentors. He believes in pushing beyond the limits and never settling for mediocrity. This high expectation drives excellence and ensures continuous growth. It's like having a mentor who can consistently challenge you to be the best, ensuring you never become complacent. Vegeta's journey from villain to anti-hero is a testament to his redemption and growth. His mentorship reflects his own evolution, teaching no matter where you start, it's your growth that defines you. Vegeta's story is about turning weakness into strengths and about past failures as fuel for future successes. Vegeta's mentorship might be tough, but it is effective. From his high standards to his redemption arc, there's much to learn. Let's summarize the key takeaways from Vegeta's leadership styles. Tough love builds resilience and strength. High standards drives excellence. Redemption and growth turning weakness into strengths. We're powered up through generations of leadership wisdom. From Master Roshi's patience to Goku's teamwork and Vegeta's tough love, these lessons transform and send time. Now let's wrap it up with some key takeaways and a challenge for the week. We talked about patience and humility, our timeless leadership traits. Mentorship with wisdom and care leaves a lasting impact. Learning by example inspires teams. Teamwork and continuous improvement are essential for success. Tough love and high standards push us to excel. And redemption and growth show that failures can become strengths. So how can you lead like a saying? Reflect on these lessons and think about how you can apply them in your own life. And remember, even the toughest challenges can be overcome with the right mindset. This week, think of a recent leadership challenge you faced. How did you handle it? How could you learn from Master Roshi, Goku, or even Vegeta to improve your approach next time? Share your thoughts in the comments. Which of the three Dragon Ball Z characters do you think is the best leader and why? Let's get the discussion going and drop your answers in the comments below. If you got an anime that you believe captures the essence of the upcoming topic even better, don't hesitate to click the link in the description and make your voice, yes, your, your voice heard. Join the waitlist for the Peak Society group at michaelyerby.com backslash the Peak Society and let's build a community where we can dive deep into discussions about growth, challenges, and of course, anime. And remember, my premium online courses are absolutely free on michaelyerby.com. Just click the course link below to tune in to your development at no cost. And I ask that you buy some merch to help us support the channel and grow. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thanks for tuning in, Zinyoku family. Until next time, keep seeking wisdom, embracing leadership and mentorship, and paying it forward. Peace.